the uh, 35 of Dillamore. Going away from the pole. Outside will be the 34 of Keegan Nyer, row number two. Joey Wilcox, the 73. Alongside, we will find the 11 of Genevieve Bartlett. Final row, Brady Howard in the 54 and 33 of Alan McDonald. 12 laps is the scheduled distance. LeClaire looks him over off of turn number four. Green lights are on and we're underway. First time down the back straightaway, it will be Dylan Moore out in front of the field as they head up into turn number three and a four. Keegan Nyer rolling the top of the speedway. Wilcox and Brady Howard along with Bartlett in that top five order. Drag race to the line at lap number one. It is going to go to Nyer for the race lead here into turn number one and two. Nyer with the advantage. Dylan Moore right there for second is Wilcox and Brady Howard. After one another down the back stretch, first, third, and fourth. Wilcox down low, Howard up high, and Howard will hold the spot for now at least. Now Wilcox shoots by on the bottom. Here comes Gen er, Genevieve Bartlett looking for the number four spot as they work in lap number two. Down the back stretch into turn number three and four. Lap number three goes up on the leaderboard. Keegan Dyer in control as the 35 of Dylan Moore right there for the two spot. Wilcox all by himself now into third as Bartlett has taken over fourth. Brady Howard goes around in turn number four. Yellow lights are on at lap number three. So a green flag will be coming out next time by is Brady Howard. We'll tag on to the back end of the field. Keegan Nyer, Dylan Moore, Joey Wilcox, that's your top three. Genevieve Bartlett fourth, Alan McDonald fifth. Brady Howard completes it. Three down, nine to go. Twelve laps is the distance. Here in the Donath Motor Works Limited Sportsman. They work it through turns three and a four off of corner number four. We're back to green. And again, Keegan Nyer jumps out into the lead. He's been getting pretty good restarts here as they head down the back straightaway. Dylan Moore along with Joey Wilcox. That's the top three. Bartlett now under attack from the 54 of Brady Howard. Howard works the high lane, gets around Bartlett into turn number three and four and down to the line one more time. Lap number four. Up on the scoreboard, Keegan Nyer looking for win number two here in 2023. Dylan Moore, Joey Wilcox still remaining in the top three here as they work it through turns three and four. And Nyer has been quick all season. Dylan Moore, he's been fast everywhere he goes. Got his first career win earlier this season at Mohawk. Got his second career win the next night at the Brockville Speedway. They went to Cornwall that Sunday night and they finished third, so it was a good weekend there. But Moore has not been to victory lane since. He wants to change it and get his first ever Can-Am win. His older brother Brennan did it earlier this year. I'd like to get it down in front. Six laps down, six more to go. Keegan and I are well in control of this one so far. Still about a three-car length lead over Moore. Wilcox still there in third, followed by Howard and Bartlett in that top five order. And Alan McDonald completing it in sixth, bringing it through turns three and four. We'll have five laps left to go. Five more remain, and Keegan Nyer looking to take it all home here, but Dylan Moore is going to have some other ideas as they make their way down the back stretch off of corner number two. Nyer out of Carthage, New York, bringing it through turn number three and four one more time. Dylan Moore still about three car links back in second as they work it down across the line. Lap number eight goes up on the leaderboard. Four more remain. So 
So four laps left to go. Coming around with three to go one more time. Nyer in command of it. He has run a flawless race so far since he got the lead at the drop of the green flag. Dylan Moore and Joey Wilcox still remain in the top three. Brady Howard, the only two-time winner so far this season in Donath Motor Works Limited Sportsman Action, running back there in fourth with Genevieve Bartlett in fifth. Two to go for Nyer. Everybody's spaced out around this speedway right now. All Nyer has to do is make a couple of good solid laps around this racetrack and get around Alan McDonald cleanly and he should be home free to the checkers. White flag will be displayed this time by Keegan Nyer. The Carthage native looking for his second win of the season at first since opening day April 28th. White flag in the air for Nyer. Final trip through turns one and two. He's down the back straightaway cleanly. Nothing but clear racetrack in front of him. Checkered flag will wave this time by. A dominant performance. Keegan Nyer, he's waited since April to do it, but he's back at victory lane. Win number two of the season for Keegan Nyer. Second will be Dylan Moore. Third will go to Joey Wilcox. Fourth will be the 54 of Brady Howard and Genevieve Bartlett. Will cross in spot number five. Alan McDonald completes the rest of your field.